Hi traders, welcome to the recording of my live trading session. As recorded yesterday, I'm going to trade Tesla today. It's going to be interactive. If you like it, please subscribe to this channel right over here and let me know in the comments below if you like this format or not. Anyway, S&P 500, as you can see, started with a big gap down and it's moving up, which is very interesting because then you should look for stocks which are outperforming. S&P is still red, but Tesla is green. Tesla moved up, closed the gap. It's relatively strong and I'm buying 1,000 shares right over here, expecting it to continue moving higher. Now, you always look for stocks which are outperforming the market. And now the question, the interactive question I've got for you is where is your stop loss? Should you put your stop at underneath A, B or C. Now take a look at the numbers there, try and imagine where would be your stop loss and we're going to answer this question a little bit later down this video. At the end of this video I'm going to stop and talk about the reason why I put my stop and where I put my stop. So just try to imagine where would be your stop A, B or C. Now I'm expecting Tesla to continue moving higher. It looks great but the market's not helping. The market is now going sideways, actually going in the middle of the range and it's a little bit hard to say whether the market is going to break down now or move higher, which is a little bit tricky and that's why one of the reasons why Tesla is now coming down. Now Tesla is a very big mover. It's very volatile. As you can see, it could have shaken you out of this trade depending on where you choose your stop loss. Here's the S&P 500. As you can see, it's in the middle of the range. It's showing me some green candle right now, which makes me believe I should probably stay a little bit longer. These are one minute candles in Tesla. It still is coming now and now it reverses. And at that point, the S&P started moving higher. And now Tesla tried to move higher. Uh, failed coming back up again which gives me the idea that I should add and I'm adding another 600 shares right over here expecting it now to recover because the S&P finally recovered. Now my next question for you is where should be my target point? So um, there's a few options here. A would be the highs as expecting that there should be some kind of resistance at the highs. There's normally a resistance at the highs and B would be before reaching the highs, before actually before the whole number. Uh, you always want to sell before it reaches the whole number. So 194.99 and C is over the highs. And again, I'm going to answer this question. So stay tuned with me until the end of this video. And we're going to talk about it and discuss this. So anyway, as you can see, Tesla is now trying to move higher. Higher. It's definitely uptrending. And remember, these are one minute candles. We have to look at and we will look at five minute candles very, very soon. But as you can see right now, Tesla is looking quite good. It is trending higher. And uh, now try to imagine where was your stop loss and where would you, if you would hang on or not, and look at the way Tesla moves up. This is a fast forward and it just moved over the highs, spiked over the highs. It's a little bit overbought at this point. So I think this should be the point where I take my partial. I'm getting to the point where I would like to, at any pullback, I would like to uh, sell. It is getting close. I've got 1600 shares. I'm looking carefully at the buyers and the sellers. You can see the buyers on the left side, the sellers on the right side. And I'm going to take a partial here and I'm going to sell 1400 shares at these highs. And right now I've got left 200 shares. You can see that Tesla is pulling back down a little bit and look at what happened to the S&P. The reason Tesla finally moved up is because the S&P spiked up the way it did. So the S&P made a beautiful move over the highs. Tesla was helped by the S&P direction and it reached a new high. Now for the first question, where should be your stop loss? My answer would be B, under 193.50. I don't see any reason to let Tesla move underneath that, but there is a good reason. These are five minute candles. There was no five minute reversal and the S&P was not breaking down. So you should have hanged on to Tesla. That's my answer. So although I picked up um, option B, I should have let it, uh, I should have let it come down a little bit more because there was no reversal and the market was not breaking down. As to the question, where should be your target? Well, your target should be over the highs. Why? Because it's Tesla. And because when Tesla is getting close to the highs, you would expect it to move over. There's a lot of people who are following Tesla. It comes up on a lot of screeners. It's not right for every stock. It's different between one stock to another. People love Tesla. That's why they will 
they will look for a new high and they will keep buying over the new high. And again, that's a little bit different between one stock to another. So I hope you got the same numbers as I did. These are my end results today. As you can see, Tesla is one of my winners. And uh, I do have another two winners and one loser in Boeing. So I'm going to finish this day in green. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Plenty of links right here below. And don't forget that trading is extremely hard and most traders lose money. I see you in my next video.